I'm done with what I'm seeing. It is so unsafe in my neighborhood anymore. I have the homeless that were trying to camp out, and I have, I have made concessions with them, and I try to help them the best I can to keep them from trying to squat on my property. But it is so unsafe. I have men that cannot speak English in my front yard screaming at me, throwing mattresses in my front yard, throwing trash in my front yard. And I can't. I Look at me. I weigh 95 pounds. I couldn't defend myself if I had to. My husband is elderly. And last night, after living in this home for 45 years, he said, Noel, guess what? It's time to pack up and move. He said, we can't do this anymore. He said, it's killing both of us mentally. I don't understand what you expect of us as citizens. I mean, I understand they're here under temporary protected status, and you're protecting them. And I understand that our city services are overwhelmed and understaffed. But who's protecting us? If we're protecting them, who's protecting me? I want out of this town. I am sorry. Please give me a reason to stay. You guys are just sitting up there and suicide. Like, I, I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into... They flipping cars in the middle of the street. And I don't know how, like, y'all can be comfortable with this. Like, I don't know, like, who's getting paid from it. I feel like... I honestly feel like someone's getting paid from it in the background. They dropping... They, you got... A bunch of people on a bus getting dropped off at a gas station to come down here. I know a single mom that FaceTimed me tonight, FaceTimed me this morning at the welfare office that really need, like, that really need something. And it's nothing but immigrants over there. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them. Like, and it's going to get bigger and it's only going to get worse. And y'all sitting up there in these chairs. Y'all, all y'all need to get out here and do something. Y'all making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Y'all need to put on a t-shirt and some Crocs. And then y'all need to come out here in these streets. And y'all need to go out here. And, uh, I'm out here before the police is. Like, y'all need to do something, bro. Y'all really got to stand on business. Y'all getting paid all this money just to wear a suit and sit in a chair. I don't think, I think it's, I think it's crazy, bro. That's where they come from and that's what they do. That's their country. I don't know what they got going on over there, but they can't do that over here. And if y'all just getting paid from it and then y'all ain't doing nothing about it, I think that's super weird, bro. Y'all got to stand on business. Y'all got to really, like, step up. Like, it's, it's lame, bro. Like, for real. Thank you for your comments. Thank for you. Sure. Driving around Springfield, I was looking at the giant holes in some of our buildings. I noticed all of the old familiar spots bearing new signs in an unfamiliar language. I watched as groups of strangers walked around the city like lost tourists, and it was like a punch in the gut. A terrible sadness came over me, and I began to cry. I immediately started to think back to when I was little, walking from my grandma's house on South Fountain through downtown and all the way to Snyder Park. I feel like we have been invaded by some sort of pest. I'm angry that my friends and family are packing up and moving away. I'm angry that foreigners are using up the resources that were set up for the Americans that reside here. I'm angry that another country's flag was being flown in our city. I'm angry when I see our businesses and recreational areas littered with garbage left by people that do not know or understand our laws and culture and are making no attempt to learn about them. And let me be clear, this is not about race. This is about people being given the privilege of coming here from another country and having no respect for our people, our land, or our life's work. People living their life here the way they did in Haiti. Angry, stealing, polluting, living in filth, and acting like animals. These are not civilized people. Opening containers in our grocery stores, helping themselves to what's inside and throwing the rest onto the shelves and floors. Pulling off of the highway to publicly clean and gut the roadkill lying there in front of anyone that passes by, stealing animals from farmers and leaving their severed heads at the site of an old school where children play, relieving themselves in public, making some barbaric stew out of the birds that live in our park. This is insanity, and it has to stop. What will become of Springfield? Where will we be in five years? The thought terrifies me. There have been first-hand reports of wrong-way drivers on one-way streets drivers ignoring stop signs and red lights and other traffic issues. There is the impact on businesses having to deal with language, cultural differences. 
uh, there is a strain on public resources, both governmental and private services, including health. I'm going taking my cart down the grocery aisle, and I have three immigrants strapped across the aisle. Seen me coming, would not budge, wouldn't even, and I said, excuse me. Maybe they didn't understand what I was saying, but I'm sure they understood that I was trying to get through that aisle. So I have no recourse now but to bust through it. I'm not afraid to do so. You know, I would like to see them have some common respect, some common decency. Do not try to bully your way through Springfield, Ohio. It's not going to work out well. Having thousands of new immigrant neighbors move into our city during the past few years has been stressful and overwhelming. But I am hopeful for a shared future with them. Speaking from personal experience, our Haitian neighbors and other newcomers I have met have been kind, grateful, hardworking people who want to play a positive role in our community. They are students, employees, business owners, and consumers who are contributing to our city.